my name is Ellie Hullabar, and I'm pretty involved in 4-H, um, static-wise and livestock-wise. I show at the county, I show um, sheep, pigs, rabbits, and dairy. Um, and then static projects, I'm involved in child development, food and nutrition, sewing and needle arts, um, visual arts, um, gardening. I'm really big into horticulture, so uh, just all, overall pretty involved in, um, I love 4-H, so. I started 4-H when I was 10, um, so this will be my ninth year and my last year. And I just kind of knew 4-H from the start. I'm the youngest of five and um, all my siblings have gone through 4-H and I couldn't really wait for it to be my turn and finally get started for my years and um, so I, I just got involved and followed in my family's footsteps and um, I've enjoyed it all nine years. So. The State Fair is very competitive. It's a whole different kind of ball game. Um, here at County, you might have done very well and um, have been very successful with your animals, but um, at State Fair, you're very humbled. You are put together with everyone else that did great at their county, and um, it's really competitive. It's a fight to the win, and some people up there are kind of ruthless with um, just getting their animals ready and the preparation, and um, those people live in those barns. So when I take sheep up, there's always a ton of sheep in there, and I always try to bring my best ones and hope to compete um, pretty well with them, but I also take rabbits, and there's a lot of rabbits that come up there, and it's, it always just surprises me. Um, the competition up there. I can't stress that enough. It it really puts, puts it into perspective about um, all these animals statewide that people have had and that people wanted to bring. But on the flip side of that, it's really exciting getting to compete at the upper level and um, there's some nerves on showing day, but there's also a lot of excitement. I show sheep, pigs, dairy, and rabbits. Dairy is fairly new. Um, dairy, I kind of also just get into for fun. It's a fun project. It's not really my forte, but um, I really encourage 4-Hers to try new projects, and if I'm going to encourage that, i got to follow it up as well. Rabbits-wise, I rabbits are kind of like my pride and joy. I We are we have a lot of rabbits at home that we that we bring and take care of, and um, it benefits us, it benefits me in the end, and um, I've won Grand Champion Rabbit three times total over um, the past, my past 4-H years. Very well deserving of a Grand Champion Cup. Very nice to meet you. Um, last year I actually won Grand Champion Rabbit, so that was really exciting. I would say that my parents have been my, my main supporters throughout this all. I, I drew on a lot of inspiration from them. My mom was a 4-H'er and um, she, she brings out the best in us and she has instilled that throughout our family all these years. I give credit to my dad on the livestock part and I give a ton of credit to my mom on the um, static project part. My advice that I would give to any 4-H'er is to just go out there and try new things. There are so many opportunities that 4-H um, gives to, to the youth. Just being raised the way I have, I just continue to promote and encourage them to try new things. Don't be scared. 4-H um, is full of endless um, opportunities and it will shape your character and your attitude will shape how you, um, how you enjoy the fair and those experiences will carry you on through those years. So.